Hi guys and welcome to another Divi tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com Well yesterday we uh, made this simple product slider that's got a call to action button that will link to a product. Um, today we're going to turn this into this right here, a 3D product carousel. That's pretty eye catching right there. We'll be using the Divi Supremes plugin to do this today. So I'm going to get started by enabling the Visual Builder. Once loaded, let's go down to where we want to work. What I'll do is I'll delete this whole section here. Blue tag for the section. And we'll start from scratch. Well, we won't start from scratch. I built this yesterday. If you want to know how to build it, I'll put the link to that video below this one. What we'll do is we'll just copy this one over or duplicate it and we'll transform this one into the 3D one. And there's our duplicate. So I'm going to go into the section and quickly change that background gradient. And I'm going to put black at the top and blue down the bottom. Great, that's that done. Now the next thing I want to do is extend my row so it's full width. It's very easy to do also. Go to design, to sizing. Slide the width all the way up to 100%. And also either type or copy, control C and paste into the max width 100%. And as you can see, we've now got a full width row there. Great, so that's our section and row taken care of. Let's go into the actual module itself here, which is the Supreme Card Carousel. And let's change a few settings. We've got enough cards there to do it, or enough products there to do it. Now let's change it from slider to cover flow. And as you can see, they've got a bit of a tilt on them now. And I'm going to check the box that says show shadow and that will give these outer ones a bit of shadow giving them a bit of a 3D look like that. Slides to show, well, we're going to have one in the middle and a few each side so I'm going to put that up to five. There we go. Center mode I'm going to turn that on, that will guarantee that we've always got one in the middle just like that. Now if we go back up to under show shadow there, we've got cover flow rotate. That's the amount that you want your cards to rotate. So I'm going to take them to about where I want them. Something like that. What I'll do is I'll save this. I'm going to put a bit of padding on the side of our row here. So we've got a bit of a gap either end. So I'm going to go into the green tab for the row. I'm going to go to design and spacing and I'm going to put 50 pixels spacing padding left and right 50 it'll put the picks in for you hit the chain and it'll do the other side there we go we've got a bit of padding there now let's save that and go back into our module and rotate these and get them how we actually want them so that's almost how I want it just play with it Get it exactly how you want it. Cover flow depth. So how sort of deep down it goes like that. Again, you can play with that. Get it how you want it. We've got our center mode on. We've chosen the number of slides. And we still want it to scroll one slide at a time. Or at least I do. You can change that if you want to change that. Slider speed's absolutely fine. And autoplay is absolutely fine. Still want it to pause on hover. When somebody hovers over it, I want it to stop when we saved it. But the spacing, I'm going to put these real close together so they're almost overlapping. Now I'm going to go back up to my rotate. Just bring that down until they're almost doing something like that. Now I'm going to go to the depth and I'm going to pull it up a little bit until I've got exactly what I want showing. Something like that. Obviously you do yours however you want. And we're pretty much done there because we've done all the hard work before. We made it 
our images and we made our call to actions buttons that will link to our various products. Still want to show pagination, still want to show the arrows. So we're good, I think that's all we need to do. Let's just save this. Save our page changes. And exit the visual builder. Go on down. And there's our little 3D carousel there. Make sure our pagination is going to work. Our arrows are going to work. Fantastic. Let's make sure we can get to a product. Let's click on here. We've got our hover effect going with the button. And there we go. It's linking to our product just as we want it. So there you have it. There is how to create a 3D product slider using the fantastic Divi Supremes module. Like I say, the initial setup, the one we built yesterday to build this, I'll put the link below the video. If you haven't watched it, you might want to watch that first and then take on this one. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.